showing you a more advanced tutorial on graphical robot C. I will be showing today. I'll be showing you um, how to program sequences with one button. So let's get started. So la in the last video, we made a pro we made this program here. It's amazing, but it's not the best. It just drives the robot around. So the next step, and what we're going to do today is adding semi-autonomous which is a series of tasks by just pressing one simple button and so what we're going to need is an if statement so this is just saying if um, button e up is pressed which is one is pressed um, it will do whatever is an if statement and today my example I'm going to use is my robot, so I'm going to drive up manually up to the ring and grab it with the core. But I'll do it. I will. The, the program will grab it, then it'll lift it, then put it in its loader behind it. So what we're going to st need to start with is a move motor, which is just, just commanding a, a certain motor to do something. I'm going to first use the claw so it grabs and I'm going to put 0, 0 0.25 rotations which should grab the ring but if it's too much it will just freeze keep trying to do it they'll never actually be able to do it and it'll just freeze if there's not enough it's not going to be able to break, get the ring but I've got a feeling that this is going to work then we have to put a weight, which is over here, just so that it has time to grab the ring. Then I'm going to put another move motor, but this one is for the arm to lift it up. So then it's going to move about 2.5 rotations again. Uh, not again, but like same, um, so that it gets to the back. And again, if it's too much, it'll freeze. So next, I'm going to put another weight, just just in case that it might have a problem. And I'm going to put a so another one, which is um, another move motor for the claw. So this is where it's going to release the ring and drop it in the back. So, once I've got that done, and I'm going to have to do negative 0.25 rotations, because that's what we did before, so I should just put the arm um, back to uh, open state. And now, we're just going to finish with a, another move arm, just so then the arm goes back to its original position. And just put that down there, there, you go. there it is. And which is going to be arm motor, and again, it's going to have to be negative 2.5, which should counter what we did before. So we'll just go into the original position. So okay, so with our previous program we made the other video, it, we should be able to drive up to the ring. And now we're going to press the E up button that we made that we made together, and it should grab. It. Put it behind, put it in its back mode, and it's done! Clap, clap, clap for the robot. This thing is a waste of time, but often semi-automation is far more faster and far more reliable than human driver. In fact, in my competitions, my robot always has semi-automation, whether it's just picking up a bit of rings to half of the get half of the match being autonomous.